Hi, my name is Mrinal Wadhwa. I am CTO at Occam, and I'm passionate about enabling a future where autonomous machines work together with intelligent algorithms to improve the way we live and work. The status quo, however, is that most connected applications today are not very secure, private, or dependable. At Occam, we are determined to change that. Machines within the Internet of Things operate by exchanging messages with cloud services and other connected machines. Um, if we wish to build applications that are secure against attackers, malware, ransomware, etc., applications that can safely carry our customers' private and proprietary data, applications that are dependable in crucial scenarios like healthcare, public utilities, transportation, manufacturing, and logistics, it is if we wish to build such trustworthy applications, then we must ensure that the messages that carry configuration data, sensor readings, control instructions, and firmware updates, we need to ensure that these messages are safe against eavesdropping, tampering, and forgery. Regrettably, most IoT and Edge applications that are built and deployed today are unable to provide these three basic protections protections against eavesdropping, tampering, and forgery of messages. These weaknesses are usually due to the following four reasons. Number one, implicit trust in network boundaries. A naive way to protect messages that are flowing between applications is to um, create a physical or virtual network boundary and only allow select trusted machines into such a boundary. This sort of worked when uh, there were a lot fewer computers in the world and those computers were fixed to a desktop or a server cabinet. IT and OT departments, however, have learned over the years that um, such network boundaries cannot be enforced in the modern landscape of mobile devices, Internet of Things, cloud applications, and a remote workforce. It is also unrealistic to expect home users to successfully guard their network boundaries. And when it's increasingly common for homes to have a large number of connected devices that come and go. Unfortunately, many I IoT and edge applications uh, for homes and industrial use cases are still built with implicit trust in such network boundaries. Here's an example of a connected switch from a prominent vendor. If anyone sends this message to the switch, the switch reveals whether it is on or off. If they send this other message, the switch will turn on. It is trivial for an attacker to tamper or forge such messages and remotely take control of the switch because the embedded code in the switch implicitly trusts all incoming messages without authenticating the sender or validating the integrity of the message. Secure applications should not do this. They should instead put zero trust in network boundaries. Every message that is received by the application must carry a proof to assure that the message wasn't tampered or forged. A dependable application must be able to dynamically decide if it has enough assurance to trust and act on the information or a command received in a specific incoming message. The second reason connected applications often have weaknesses is that their architecture lacks the ability to establish mutual trust. It is common for IoT application architects to take inspiration from how they design browser-based web applications and only establish trust in cloud services with uh, one-way authentication. They decide that it is okay to not authenticate devices because it seems too complicated to manage unique credentials in a large fleet of devices and that their devices are just simple sensors, so uh, they don't need to authenticate or authorize them. This is a flawed trade-off because if their business or its customers are relying on the information collected by these sensors, and there, then there is incentive for an attacker to tamper or forge that information. 
Dependable IoT applications must instead be able to mutually authenticate and authorize all exchanges of sensed information and control instructions. The third common reason for vulnerabilities in connected applications is poor management of credentials. Once application developers discern that it, in order to have trustworthy, dependable information flowing within their applications, they need to mutually authenticate and authorize all exchanges of messages, once they discern this, they are faced with some hard challenges. To ensure that the center readings and command acknowledgments sent by remote devices cannot be forged or tampered, each device must possess unique cryptographic keys and credentials. How should a system generate, deliver, and store these unique credentials in, in a large fleet of devices? Every IoT development team ends up having to sort of hand roll mechanisms for provisioning keys, activating devices, and bootstrapping trust. This is often a source of mistakes like default passwords or hard-coded secrets. Architects are faced with further daunting challenges if they wish to follow good security hygiene and make these device credentials short-lived, rotatable, and revocable. Teams should not have to design ad hoc protocols for enrollment and access control of devices. They need simple, proven tools to safely manage keys and credentials at scale. The fourth common reason for weaknesses in connected applications is the lack of end-to-end -end safety of messages at the application layer. To protect on-route messages against eavesdropping, tampering, and forgery, we usually need a cryptographic secure channel protocol. Most IoT message transport protocols support some way to establish such a secure channel. However, um, such secure channel protocols have traditionally been tightly coupled with corresponding transport protocols. Uh, their security guarantees are limited by the length and duration of a single transport layer connection. This constraint often leads to application architectures that violate the foundational security principle of least privilege, exposing applications to vulnerability, um, to a vulnerability and liability surface that is a lot bigger than it needs to be. It is common for messages in intelligent connected applications to traverse a complex path that isn't a simple point-to-point -point transport protocol connection. Uh, to support occasionally connected devices, low-power radio protocols, and containerized microservices, messages usually travel via a number of message queues and caches, often over a series of network layer connections um, before they reach their end destination. And since the protections offered by traditional secure channel protocols are limited by the duration and length of a point-to-point -point transport connection, these traditional protocols are unable to keep our application messages safe along their entire path from source to destination. A compromise of a third-party cloud service or a network intermediary or a low-power radio gateway can cause our application data and commands to be snooped on tampered or forged. Secure, private, and dependable connected applications instead need end-to-end -end trust in application layer messages. They need end-to-end -end encrypted and authenticated secure channels. To summarize, implicit trust in network boundaries, lack of mutual end-to-end -end trust in information and commands that are exchanged at the application layer, and poor management of credentials are the root causes that are holding back developers from building and scaling secure, private, and dependable connected applications. At Occam, we've built easy to use, open source programming libraries and protocols that make it simple to tackle all of these core challenges. We've made it simple for you to build dependable connected applications that place zero trust in network boundaries and third-party infrastructure. 
applications that safely exchange credentials to provide granular, attribute-based, privacy-preserving, policy-driven access control over connected machines to your users. Applications that communicate securely and privately using end-to-end -end encrypted, mutually authenticated channels. Applications that embrace the principle of least privilege and can be dependable parts of a future with autonomous systems.